Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Snowman by Wallace Stevens. Come, let's go to the poem. The Snowman by Wallace Stevens is a wonderful poem and here the speaker speaks to the audience directly and the speciality of this poem is it is written in one long sentence with 15 short lines and all these lines are written in free verse and it is divided into five tercets and uh, who is the speaker of this poem is it can be considered as the snowman himself as though he is speaking because the title of the poem is the snowman or it can even mean a person who has been for a long time in cold winter land and the poem begins like this it says one must have a mind of winter here one means that the speaker is not talking only about his own experience but he is referring to all the persons who could be in a cold place for a long time and he says one must have a mind of winter to regard the frost and the boughs of the pine trees crusted with snow so he says only when you have a mind of winter you will be able to understand the pine trees which are filled with snow and have been cold a long time so just like how you were you have been exposed to cold winter time for a long time these trees are also exposed to cold for a long time to behold the junipers shagged with ice the sprouts rough in the distant glitter of the january sun just like the trees the junipers and the sprouts they also glitter in the january sun because they are all covered with snow and ice and not to think of any misery in the sound of the wind and he says when you've been there for a long time in the cold winter you will not think about the misery which is in the sound of the wind in the sound of a few leaves which is the sound of the land he says there you will only listen to the sound of the wind and the sound of the few leaves because this is the sound of that land full of the same wind that is blowing in the same bare place so he says this sound only will be heard all over because the whole place is bare it is cold winter land so no, it will be only covered by snow and ice and you cannot see anything else other than what he has already mentioned that is the pine trees the junipers and the sprouts and then he says for the listener who listens in the snow and nothing himself beholds nothing that is not there and the nothing that is and he says when one person has been for a long time in this winter land you cannot expect to project the human emotions into nature so you become nothing because there is nothing there and that is the nothing which is there you become like a picture which is painted in a portrait so you are once the snowman is like that only who has been experiencing snow for a long time and they he will not have any human emotions and he will only take winter as it is and he will be one with the nature and this is what wallen uh, stevens says in this poem if you have anything more to add on to this please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you